bead crochet necklace. We have a selection of beads and we just got these at the craft store. We chose some glass beads in kind of a hematite finish. These are one to three millimeters in size. We've got some crystal, kind of a peachy color, AB rondels. And then we chose a couple of beads that are kind of dangly. So they're, this is a top drilled or teardrop shape with an AB finish on turquoise. And then this is a metal copper leaf charm that has a patina on it. And we're just going to mix these together throughout the necklace. We're going to make the necklace on this silk cording. And it comes on this little card with a needle already attached to the string. This is very easy to find and it's nice that it has the needle attached to put the beads onto the string. We have a little clasp here that's kind of a box clasp with a rose on it. And for the whole project, we're going to crochet with this crochet hook. You can use a variety of sizes. This is a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook and we just like the size of this one. So we've pre-stretched our silk thread and what that means is that we actually hung it over a doorway. We tied one end to a coffee cup and the other end to a coffee cup and we hung one coffee cup on one side of the door and one on the other, hung it all the way, let it stretch overnight. And the reason you do that is this silk cord, it's a natural material and it wants to stretch on its own. If you made a necklace with it and you didn't pre-stretch it, it would stretch on its own as a necklace and it would get longer and longer. So we wanted to stretch it out first so it won't change shape once we make our necklace. So here's the end that has the needle attached. It's kind of, they call it a needle, it's really just a piece of wire attached to it, but it helps us get through the beads. And the first thing we want to do to make this necklace is feed on a bunch of beads, then we'll start crocheting. And so I'm just going to feed on, you don't have to do all your beads at first, but I'm going to feed on uh, about maybe 10 beads. And you want to put them in the order that you want them to appear in the necklace. So I'm going to do a couple small ones and then a dangly so that leaf charm is going to be kind of dangly. Just let this slide on past. Here's one of our little crystal rondels. And then I think maybe another one of these hematite silver ones. And then another dangly. This is our pretty little teardrop shape, the little fire polish finish. And then I'm just going to slide those over the end of the needle. So the needle has this little hoop and you have to kind of compress it to pull it through, to pull the beads over it. But once you do, they just go over it just fine. It may not work with pearls. Pearls have very small holes, probably because they're so delicate they can't drill bigger holes in pearls. So you can, uh, you can maybe pre-test that to make sure that your beads that you chose will fit over the needle and that little lumpy thing that the needle has at the end. So I've got about 10 on there. Let me feed on a couple more. And I'm just doing them a little bit random, but basically doing a couple of smaller beads and then a dangle and then a couple more smaller beads and a dangle. And they'll be kind of jumbly when they're in the crochet necklace. So let's see what we have here. So here's some beads fed on there. That's enough for us to get started. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little piece of masking tape on this end. We're going to feed more beads on later. So we're going to leave the needle on there, but I don't want these beads to slide off. Put a little temporary masking tape on there and then we can start crocheting. We're going to start from the other end of the string. So we've got some beads on our string and we're ready to start the crocheting. We're going to do the crocheting at this end. We slid the beads up from the needle end. So I still have the needle on there because we're going to put more beads on later. But we're just going to crochet with these beads to get started. And to get started, we're going to make a loop with our string. And to do that, I'm going to take the string and put it behind itself and make it crisscross. So this is the string with the beads is in front and then it loops around and goes behind and makes a little cross there. And I'm going to hold that end in my fingers. I've got it there on my pinky fingers, kind of taut. I'm going to reach through the loop and grab this string that the beads are on and pull it through the loop. And that's essentially what crochet is. It's pulling this one string through the other loop. That's our beginning crochet move. 
And we're only going to do that one one time. The rest are going to be all the same. But this beginning one with the loop, we're only going to do that once. So I want to show that to you again so you can get it right. Once you get that right, you'll just be off crocheting. So I take the end of my string. I make a loop with a crisscross. The string with the beads on it, that's this one, is in front. And then this string, the end, goes behind. I'm going to grab that tail with my pinky go in through the front of the loop and grab the main string that the beads are on with the hook and pull it up through that loop. Now we're going to start crocheting and while we're crocheting there'll always be a loop like this on the crochet hook and all we do is grab the main string and pull it through the loop that was already there and then push back and now we've got a new loop on the crochet hook. The old loop fell off and is behind it. Let me show you that again. And I've got that loop on the crochet hook. We grab the string that the beads are on with the hook. You can grab it underhand or overhand. And we pull it through the loop. We do that again. Grab the string that the beads are on. And I'm going to pull it through the loop that was already on the hook. So we've already got four links on there. You can tighten them up a tiny bit. Now we can start sliding some beads up. So this is what makes it bead crochet. Regular crochet, you could just keep doing this. You have a long chain. It'll look very nice. But with bead crochet, what we're going to do is slide a bead up in here, then grab the string that the beads are on behind that bead, and pull it up through the loop. just want to make sure I got that right. There's the hook through the loop. Now the bead is in our chain. Doesn't that look nice? I think I'll do a one crochet loop here without a bead. And then I can slide up a bead. That's your option if you want to have some space between the beads. There's our bead, it's slid up there. Now I grab the string that the beads are on. Pull it through the loop that's already there. And then I can slide up another bead. This is what our nice little dangle charm here. And then I want to grab the string on the other side of that bead that puts the bead inside the chain. I grab that string and I pull it through the loop that was already there. Let me do that again. Here's our one of our little hematite glass beads. I'll just slide it up here. And I grab the string that the bead was on and pull it through the loop. If you come out like that, just hold still. You can go back through. No problem. And this is the reason we slid some beads on to get started. We can do a little bit of crocheting here like this. And then when we're done with this set of beads, we can set it down and add more beads to the other end. So we don't have to know before we get started how many beads are going to be on it. We can just add beads and crochet until it's the length that we want it. And I've got my hoop is on the crochet hook and then I grab the string that the beads are on and pull it through that hoop. Do that one more time. Slide the bead up, grab the string that the beads are on, pull it through the loop that was on the crochet hook, and then back through. So that's starting to look pretty nice here. What I'm going to do now is add some more beads and crochet some more and check the length and we'll just keep going like this until the necklace is as long as we want it and then we can put on the clasp. So we've come to the end of our crochet beading. We did about 15 inches worth of beads and crocheting. And then I just added a couple loops at the tail end here without beads because I did that at the beginning. So I just wanted it to match. I'm going to show you how to finish the ends and put on the clasp. But before I show you that, I want to show you what happens if you don't finish the ends. If you pull your crochet hook out here and pull this string, you will undo all your crochet. And this can happen quickly and all of your bead work and crochet work will just come undone. So you want to be careful not to let that happen unless you hate what you've done. And then in that case, it's very easy to just undo your loops by pulling them. So I'm going to feed my crochet hook back in so I don't unravel all my work. And the way that we finish this end off is we grab 
the string, this is the string that the beads were on, the main string. We pull it through, but instead of going back to continue crocheting, we're gonna pull it all the way through. That includes the needle and everything. And I'm gonna pull that tight. Now that's knotted and it's not gonna come undone. So that end is finished. The end that we began with is also finished with a knot that we made at the beginning when we made our fold over loop. And now we can put on the clasp. And to do that, for this one we decided we're just gonna tie it on. So I'm going to cut the needle off that end of the string. I'm gonna undo my box clasp so I have two parts. And I'm just gonna feed that up through. And I'm gonna tie a simple little knot over here. And you can use the crochet hook if it helps you pull that through. I think that I can do it with my fingers. And this is just like if you were gonna tie a knot in your shoelaces. There's one, and I'm just gonna do two for good measure. And sometimes when we do knots like this to hold on a clasp, I like to add a little dab of glue just to secure that knot, especially if it's slippery cording. Sometimes the silk is a little bit slippery. And then I'm just gonna trim fairly close. It's kind of a boho look, this crochet is, so it doesn't matter, I think, that that is showing, that little knot. We'll do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna trim it a little bit shorter. And then I'm just gonna feed that through the loop on the other side of the box clasp and then tie a knot in the string. You could also use a clamshell bead tip here if you wanted to do this end and then that would have a little metal bead over it. And we have that in some of our other videos. So then I'm just gonna slide this to where I want the clasp and trim it. I'll probably hit that with a touch of glue just to be sure it's secure. But there's our little box clasp. The one end slides into the other. And our crochet beaded necklace is finished. Mm -hmm.